Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been around three to four weeks since our, my last video. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, we are back to the Building a City series in Blender 2.8 and Substance Painter. Of course, uh, this probably wondering why I went out for so long and uh, what happened on this week. Uh, well, um, actually really good news. Um, I've been working in some client projects that could bring more revenue for me and also, thank God, um, by last, last weeks, I finally form formatted my computer. So now I have a big, bigger storage. I bought a new SSD, installed some new fans because the old fans died out and mostly been restructuring my internal process even for creating these videos um, you may notice the microphone settings are actually way better i didn't change mic at all i just uh, learned a little more about some sound mixing and could apply some better effects so you guys could hopefully um, notice uh, my voice better uh, and well lately i've been coming back to the project and looking for new references uh, while UV unwrapping uh, the, the cities we have made, created on the last episodes, you know. Uh, I'm, I may say I'm pretty familiar and I'm pretty happy with the amount of va variation I could get for the buildings as far as I went now and in a certain extent, I've been looking in more in-depth photos of Evangelion and especially the city Tokyo Tree that appears on the anime. And there are scenes that are just meant to be representational and get the idea that the city is huge. But if you really stop to uh, appreciate the, the picture itself, or a steel frame from the anime, you actually notice some pitfalls in design. Uh, like uh, most of the buildings, they don't have windows uh, <laughs> uh, outside. And that's uh, a little strange. I mean, who would like to live in a building that doesn't have any window, you know? And this happens not only in Evangelion, but in a lot of other animes um, and other art, like if you go search cities in art station, you start to notice this trend, you know. Um, the, the buildings, they look more like transistors or uh, PC or graphics components, like a motherboard component, rather than a actual living building with windows and reflexes, right? And that's something I don't know if I was ready to implement on the, the same designs of these buildings. I wanted them to have a little bit more of variation. It would totally be easier for me to create some simple blanks or metal transistors and attach it to the buildings. Um, but I want to be able to reuse these buildings in other projects future projects uh, in a general sense that we would require a different aesthetic. And because of that, because I, I'm thinking about this modularity, um, I'm also laying out my UV islands to, so it doesn't have as many stretch as possible, you know, because I'm thinking about adding window materials. Uh, alongside that, I also have a, a shader uh, from past videos of mine uh, and some evolved variations of that shader that allows me to actually simulate interiors inside of the buildings. So I'll be using that as well. And uh, as you guys may have noticed now, the project is getting a different turn than the Evangelion uh, to Tokyo Tree original design. Therefore, there are some things that will be inherited buy it in, in essence and that is 
uh, typically related to its um, outlines and also the silhouettes of the buildings. Like the silhouettes of the buildings, I want to get the, the more variation as possible. And you guys will see that they use uh, a combination of different angles to represent that uh, stylized and also uh, sci-fi look to it, which I love. I personally really like these kinds of designs, right? I created fairly like uh, blocks, started creating these small, really tiny buildings. And these ones are meant to resemble universities, um, kind of parliament or uh, government institutions and other uh, more original type buildings that are used near, let's say, uh, places, parks, uh, places with good ve vegetation around it. Now, uh, talking about vegetation, I'm not planning to do too much. Uh, I'm not going to uh, extend the scope of the project uh, because it's been a lot of hassle to model all these buildings. Uh, so vegetation will need to be on the next uh, separate series. Otherwise, but um, the focus here with the small buildings now is actually focus on really tiny details that adds uh, very similarly and uh, different uh, aesthetics to, to these uh, buildings. Then This is one of the episodes of Evangelion, uh, the first series from 1995. Um, and you can see here, um, one of the angels is going above the city and you can really have a sense of the skyline uh, and how the different antennas and how the different uh, tiny windows on the, the, the surfaces reflect up in the angel. Um, the water there is really black, but that's because of the uh, type of screen. Uh, they capture the, the steel frame from the anime, uh, but it really has some reflections on it. Apart from a really interesting uh, rounded building that goes beyond the water there. Uh, and I really like the, the, the sci-fi touch to it. It really looks like a, a spaceship or something uh, to be on it. Um, resembling like a stadium. I think it is supposed to be a stadium. Um, and I really like that how they simulate the interiors by just little scrambles and really paint brushes on, on original lines. You really can see what's inside there, but you have a sense of depth. You have a sense of different columns and different uh, uh, depths being playing with, being that with structures of different shapes, you know. They play a lot with uh, geometric shapes, and I wanted to convey that to my assets as well. Um, here is another example. I'm kind of making uh, really small props that can be added on top of them later uh, just to simulate variation. So I create this rounded uh, 90 uh, corner insets and other tube-like shapes that can be uh, used as some kind of uh, solar panels and different windows as well. Depending on how you're going to texture it, uh, it's going to convey a different uh, style, different interpre interpretation to it. So this, for example, is just a thread thread of uh, three uh, consecutive pillars just to be added as some kind of a uh, gribble to the buildings, you know? But it, viewing from a far, from far view, you can really see uh, how they, they add to the main silhouette, you know? So you can see the process itself is really simple. There is nothing really uh, 
extraordinary in the way I'm modeling these props. Uh, they're really simple, really basic shapes, but when combined, they can really help sell the, the, the city, you know? And it's really simple. I mean, we, we, with experience and working and creating these different types of props, you start uh, to exercise your imagination and other shapes that you can represent. I'm always looking in art station and other uh, types of uh, structures and I save them on my personal references folder on my computer because I say, well, this is a really good shape. You know, this is an interesting shape. I don't see too many people modeling this type of uh, geometric inkset. So I'm going to add that to my uh, personal library, you know, and that's totally okay to do, you know, like uh, concept arts, those things are meant to inspire us and we should use it uh, rightfully, you know, different antennas, different um, garages, um, props, ladders, things like that, that you see on different uh, artists, you can try and combine them, you know, not totally uh, reproduce it exactly, you know, or, or trying to do it exactly like it, but combine aspects of different props that you see from multiple references to create your own, you know, when you combine stuff, you mix stuff together, then originality comes, you know. So here's just another experimentation, as you can see, of uh, I I wanted to make more rounded building this time, uh, both on vertical and horizontal uh, angles. So I focus it on that. Uh, as you can see, most of the buildings uh, past that they didn't have too much rounded in sets. And you need to be careful because um, even Gelen, the anime itself, uh, they they really don't use rounded uh, corners as much as uh, 45 degree angles. So you need to be careful in which areas you add your, your rounded insets, you know, because you need to combine uh, the different angles with the rounded corners, you know. Uh, otherwise, you'll be striving to a more art deco or mid 20s look, like um, Egyptian based or even uh, oriental type of buildings that have a more rounded architecture. And this is not the 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 thing we are striving for. But you, it doesn't mean that you can't be inspired by them. You know. Because uh, when you actually combine some elements of different types of architectures, the minimal element you add already helps to sell uh, originality to your design. Um, as long as they be a part of a consistent look across all buildings, you know. And we, we will be striving consistency mostly on the texturing, uh, the painting phase, because on that we will be using colors uh, sharing on most of the buildings. So the, the buildings itself, they will share uh, a color palette that is similar to each other and that will help uh, consolidate the design together as a, a, a single universe, a single piece. This is probably the most uh, boring of all three episodes so far because, uh, well, I had to UV unwrap this, this forms. And as you guys know me personally, the, the people that know me more uh, in depth and talk about 3D modeling with me know that I'm not a big fan of UVs. For me, UVs is a process, is a hassle of the profession. Uh, we do that because we really want to focus on really beautiful textures. But uh, apart from it, if we could totally jump this step in production, that would be awesome, you know. Um, 
And Substance Painter now, they are developing a new tool, a new project to automatically UV unwrap your your props when exporting and importing in Substance Painter. Uh, importing, actually. Now, I don't know how good it will be. I know they shared some uh, stuff on GDC and uh, it seems promising, but we will have to look at it. And here's another um, example of the window shaders I created to simulate a little bit of uh, interior mapping to the buildings. Uh, you can see here, uh, depending on the angle of, of your camera, you can have the impression that you have different floors inside the, the building. But it's actually just uh, math, it's just you sci like uh, EV magic, you know. Because if you're going to model that by itself, you, your props are going to end up way, way larger. But that's it, guys. Till next episode, and till next time.